show you guys how to host a server or find one, but I'm sure you guys already know that. Anyways, uh, it looks like just hosting because I'm already in the group. <laughs> so these little ones, they'll show up in the ones with normal players as well. And the ones with the white rings inside, or the black rings in them, those are the ones that are empty, and if you choose that, you will host it. So you can always kind of like look for those if you wanted to do one that's nobody's really playing. If you're not having any luck finding the one that you want, you can go to the contract broker down here at the bottom left and buy a contract. Each uh, contract is hosted by a different contact, so you just kind of flip through really quick. Don't want to do Vlad's, the elephants, blah 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 blah. I wanted to do Bane because I just want to do a simple bank heist. Then when you're in here, you can go ahead and set it up. There are also some other options like setting the room to private or whatever if you're not already hosting like I am. So I'm going to set it to overkill right now. The offshore cost, which does change with the difficulty, is reflected right there. That's how much it will cost your offshore account, not your spending cash. That's the predicted payday. It only includes, like, contract payouts. So any bag loot or whatever, that will give you more money. So we'll go ahead and buy this contract. I've done it too much, so I've got a penalty right there. Now's a good time to check. Make sure you have your skills all set up, your perk decks chosen. When you feel comfortable with that, go ahead and start the heist. If you're hoping to do like a special thing, like you wanted to do Tabula Rasa or something like that, make sure that you wait there until everybody who's with you has, you know, the appropriate skills or lack thereof. A plan is essential for success. Okay, I like to get body bags and place them near the rear roof. That way, just you know, in case something goes wrong, I end up killing more people. I can always dispose of them. And the rear roof is generally a pretty safe area. I will place the vault key in my inventory, just in case. And surveillance, I will get one spy camera in the office area. And there we go. And some of those, again, are restricted by having the appropriate uh, skills. Let's put this boat in the water. So everything's set, go over your loadout, make sure you've got the proper equipment that you wanted. If you have a team, you can view theirs under the crew setup tab, and when you're ready, Ready up. Hawks HUD initialized. Okay, folks. My guy stashed us. It's a right. You know how it goes. So it's worth noting that my uh, van is over here, so I want this kind of stealth entrance opened up. Or not stealth, but like shorter distance Hawks opened up. Now. If you don't want to take the time to pick a lock, you can always shoot it like that. There's no camera here. And there are skylights on the roof, which is just the worst. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so there's one camera right up there. And there's nobody currently on the roof. So I'm going to do really quick, let's take out that camera. You might have heard that pager sound, that was the guy in the security office letting one of his co-workers know that a camera has been destroyed. Or has stopped working. So now that guy's going to come up here to investigate. If he sees the broken camera, he will call the police. Or he'll get alerted and then he'll call the police. But it's really useful to be able to lure somebody up like that and deal with them once they arrive. Oh, and the security office is right here too. It's pretty handy actually. The door over here was open, so a guy could be slipping around that way. And there he is. No problem whatsoever. Alright, so that's the first guard down. I'd like to leave only one guard for when I do the uh, actual attack. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Just because um, that way I don't have to struggle to answer pages or anything like that. Ah, 
hell is that guy doing? Alright, so now we'll see if I can get lucky and have a guard go where I would like him to. Yeah, that was close. Sometimes I make questionable decisions. Alright, that kind of stinks that the uh, door there is closed because that means nobody's going to use it to go get some breath. Sometimes people will still come up onto the ceiling, the roof, to get some fresh air. And sometimes they'll head out the door that other guy went out. Oop. So, no more cameras in a position that I would like to lure a guard to, so I'm just going to get rid of this guy. Now the cameras are no longer a threat, I don't need to break them. And sometimes guards will notice him like that, but most of the time they don't, so I'm just going to leave him. And I will go see if a guard is heading... oh shoot, yep. Cool. Lucked out. Alright, so, um, that leaves only one guard on this map. I'm gonna take out my loud weapon just to show you guys how Control Freak works. seconds left on that pager. Boom. Alright. So really quick, I'm going to go tie up the people in the teller's office. Just because there's an alarm button right there that they can press if they stand up. Everybody else needs to call a phone, and I will usually be able to get back here in time for that. Next, I'll take care of tying up the people outside who heard me. Unless they are out of range, like those two. Civilians are an asset. Yeah, I know they are. Uh, but if they're out of range, I don't want to risk them standing up and me not being able to do anything about it. Me having to run over there to tie them. So, I'll just do that. Then, that's all looking good. So I'm going to finish up tying the people in here. Just because they're further apart from the people in the lobby. Everybody stay down. And uh, I usually, if I'm not too worried about getting money from a job or something like that, I kind of just walk around and cap everybody else so I don't have to worry about yelling at them or shooting. However, I always kind of feel like I'm that cop from the once iconic image of the Occupy protests spraying pepper spray carelessly into the faces of the people sitting on the ground. Just kind of like, yeah, whatever, I, I don't know, feels weird doing it. As is, I'll just, every now and then I'll shoot, and if they're in range where they would get startled by hearing a gunshot, they will get scared and keep their head down. And then I'm just going to go around, police, some cash, like there. Sometimes there's a safe right there, might set up another drill on that. There's packages scattered around the area, and just wait for the drill to finish down talk to you guys again once it does. Really quick, um, every single ECM that you have can be used on a ATM like this. An ATM. Uh, it takes a little while, but uh, it's far more silent than the drill, or the saw I mean. And just bam. Now you got more money. Alright, vault just opened. Um, you can see I've boarded up some windows. That's not for any real reason. I just like to do it for, like, uh, I guess role-playing reasons. Ah. And uh, this is what the key that I bought in the pre-planning phase is. The key that I bought in the pre-planning phase is for. Sometimes this little gate is up, and if I don't want to put up a saw because it'll take another two and a half minutes, I can use a key. That was really lucky. Usually it takes a few tries because you've got a key ring, not just like the key. Alright, 
then uh, you can see I'm interacting with everything pretty quickly. Not too much, and I'm not going to waste my time picking the locks. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it most of the time. If I have a saw, yeah. If I have a team with lock picks, lock picking ability, no. Uh, worth noting, civilians don't think anything weird about duffel bags. They're just like, yeah, it's, somebody's just, you know, got a duffel bag there. The guard, of course, thinks it's money or a bomb or whatever. So, just walk through. And this is the part where you can kind of get a little too cocky. If uh, you don't keep civilians down by either shooting or shouting at them, and you haven't tied them up or killed them, then sometimes with how far you go out doing this, they'll start to get up, and sometimes it's too uh, long of a distance to get over before they start calling the cops. And then you'll either be forced to kill them, because, I mean, usually you can make it back to them in enough time to just, like, uh, no, you're not calling the cops. But that does cost a little bit of money, so depending on how strapped for cash you are, or how perfectionist you are, it's better to just keep going back every now and then and uh, shout at him. Or shoot at him. Um, I did use my ECM on the security room door. I think I did at least. I might have used the keycard. If uh, you don't have the ECM and you're having trouble getting the keycard because it's like... It's on the manager's uh, desk, and not on him, and there's a camera watching it, and you're just kind of like, well, that's not going to happen. You can always use an ECM, go in, shout the guards down, kill the guard, or shout the civilians down, kill the guards, and take out the cameras. That way, the camera guy is just kind of useless. However, that's risky, because sometimes you miss a camera, and it was just something to keep in mind. Uh, that is how you stealth the bank. See you guys next time.